So in the last video, we saw how to plot Cartesian coordinates in Mathematica. But often we see that we also require polar coordinates in maths and physics, depending upon the symmetry of the problem. So let us try to see few examples. How do we plot polar coordinates in Mathematica? So let us start with the simplest example of a circle. Now, I would like to make a title so I can write circle and as you all know the equation for a circle is r is equal to a constant where a is some constant that is the radius of the circle. Now in order to plot polar coordinates in Mathematica we use polar plot. Polar plot. In uh, and you, you m might remember that in the last video we have used only plot. Okay. Now the functions will be uh, written as r as a function of theta, where r is a r and theta are the polar coordinates. Now, if I would like to plot r is equal to a, that is a circle, then where a is a radius of the circle, I need to specify the value of a. In order to specify the value of a constant, I can write as a is equal to 2, let's say. And if I don't, if I leave like this, then it will give me the output as 2. But I don't want the output of a is equal to 2. So I would write, end this equation by semicolon. Now, I would like to plot a, this is my function here, the value of r, comma, I, would, I have to specify theta. In order to write the write theta as a symbol in Mathematica, I can write escape, theta, escape. Okay. And then, for example, if it varies from 0 to pi, then what do I expect? For when theta varies from 0 to pi with radius a, I expect a semicircle. Let us see. Shift, enter. Yes, that's what we got. If you would like to make a full circle, then I need to vary theta from 0 to 2 pi. So I just write 2 pi here and then I can see shift enter and I will get a circle. Now let us try to do another example. Let us take sine theta. Okay, so polar, polar plot. square brackets open and close, I write sine theta, sine, again argument of sine is theta, escape theta, again escape, it will give me theta, now I need to give theta varies from, zero to pi, okay, shift enter, Okay, again I get a displaced circle. If I would like to plot cos theta also in this, I can do that by making a list. Okay, so escape theta and this sine theta and cos theta, these two functions I have to enclose in curly brackets. Curly brackets with comma. And now if I plot I will get like this. As I told you in the last video, if we are plotting one or more functions on the same axis, then we need to label them and that we do with the help of plot legends. Plot legends, right arrow, expressions. Okay, then it will label that which graph belongs to which function. Now, let me give you one more example of polar coordinates. You all must be familiar. Let me give the title format title ellipse. Okay, this is a very often figure which we encounter in physics and maths. And the equation of ellipse 
in polar coordinate is given as r is equal to p upon 1 plus e cos theta close where e is the eccentricity let us try to plot this function in mathematica okay by value by varying the value of e you can vary it, the ellipse now there is one more way if we have some function and and i would like to plot that function with the varying value of theta then what i can do instead of writing full function inside polar plot i can define a function as like this f theta underscore okay is equal to p upon 1 plus e into cos theta okay this i have defined this is a user defined function okay and then semicolon also i need to specify the value of p and e let me take p is equal to 1 and e is equal to 0 0.9 semicolon i am putting the semicolon because i don't want to see the outputs now i would like to plot this plot polar plot my function is f theta okay so here you can use anything for example i can plot now f theta f 2 theta i do not need to write again and again the full function this is the advantage of defining a function comma i need to specify the range of theta theta comma 0 to 2 pi okay so this is in a different cell so i need to first shift enter now shift enter yeah so i got a nice ellipse now if i would like to see f of 2 theta then i can just write here f of 2 theta and then again run this okay so this is the you there is no need to type the full function again and again for example if i would like to plot f theta f 2 theta, 2 theta and my function is very big then there is no first you define the function here theta underscore means that whatever be the value of theta here the function will take that value so for example if i would like to plot here f theta and i would like to see both okay i'll make a list and then also i would like to label them plot legends already we have done expressions okay and then i would like to see both f theta and f of 2 theta it gives me like this okay so yeah actually i have not put the comma here so it has so the mathematica has plot f theta into f2 theta if i put a comma here and then do shift and enter i will get both the curves so do you understand so what mistake i did i did not put a comma between f theta and f2 theta so mathematica has plot the multiplication of f theta into f2 theta now with the comma it understands that these are two functions and i would like to plot them separately okay so this was a short introduction of polar coordinates
or polar plots that how do we plot polar coordinates in mathematica we'll try to see few more interesting things in the next video thank you